We're excited. It's about time to have church. That's going to be happening on Sunday. And from the heart tonight is going to be sharing with you how things are going to look and kind of walking you through so that you will understand what will be going on on Sunday. This door right here, this is the door that comes in from the church. This will be the door that everyone is asked to come in. We need to come in one way and then we need to go and then others can come in and we're not crossing back and forth. We need to do that. Uh, some of these things may seem a bit extreme, but we're trying to obey and trying to take from all that we have been reading and from what people have been saying and what is coming out of our district. We're trying to take all of that and make it applicable to what works for us here at Mount Hebron. And so what we need you first off to know is come in this door. And when you come in right here is going to be a little table and it will have on it hand sanitizer as well as the offering plate. We can't pay to pass offering plates at this time. And so we want you to understand that that's where you will put your ties. We want you to put your ties right there. Now, we want you to kind of take a look. Now, it's not finished, but the chairs are set up. We have a few other chairs to put out as we get a little more cleaning done. But this is the way the fellowship hall looks. Even though we no longer have a number limit, social distancing is still a must. We have to maintain six feet between us, no handshakes or hugs. Masks are optional. If you would like to wear one, that's great. If you don't, that's fine. We will have a few handmade masks that will be available if you want to wear one, but you forgot yours. So we want you to know that. All the people that will be in the same household, as you have noticed, there are multiple chairs. And so you can sit close together, but everyone else has to sit separately. Know that not only here in the fellowship hall, but also in the church, know that extra cleaning is happening. What we are actually doing is we are cleaning, and then after it is cleaned, things are disinfected. All of this is being done according, according to some of the CDC requirements, as well as from our insurance company. But here at first, there's going to be really three staples that are going to be missing. Number one, hymnals, Bibles, and bulletins. Number two, singing. There will be music, but we will not be singing as of yet. And number three, as you look and you're looking toward the kitchen, you will notice the doors are shut. I'm sorry, folks, at this time, coffee cannot be made available to you, but you can bring your own. So I do encourage that. As you leave, we will release in areas. And what we will, the reason we will be doing that is, again, so that we do not have to cross in front of people or get close. We can just walk out. And please, please know, the service will be held to 45 minutes or less so that everyone from the 9 o'clock service will be gone before those coming to the 1030 service arrive. 
If you have questions, I encourage you to call me. Uh, we will gladly walk through some of the things with you. But this is what we're doing. And this is the fellowship hall for the nine o'clock service. And again, we do want to recommend that our senior adults come to this service. Now, it is just a recommendation, but we do recommend you come. It's easier to get into the fellowship hall and we can clean the fellowship hall better than we can clean the sanctuary. And so it will be safer. Now, we're going to be heading up to the church. We're in the sanctuary now. And as you come into the sanctuary, we're asking that you use one of two doors. Use the front door, of course, or you can use the side door over there at the ramp in case you need to use the ramp to make it easier to get into the church. At both doors, you will find hand sanitizer as well as offering plates. That is where you will put your ties. Also, what we would like for you to understand is that all four of the bathrooms in the sanctuary building will be open. That is the two that is out there at the ramp as well as the two that are downstairs. What we also would like for you to take notice of is that all of our pews will not be open. Right now, so that you can visualize how it looks, you will see that there are strips of painter's tape that are blocking some pews, blocking half of some pews, but what we're having to do is we're having to make it so that we can keep the six foot rule as far as social distancing. And so we ask that you will please take notice of that. We also want you to notice that in each pew, you will not find the hymnals, the Bibles, tithing envelopes, or pens or writing utensils. If you need tithing envelopes after the service, we will get you some personally and hand to you. That way you can take them with you. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that anything that is touched, we can clean so that we can stay uh, disinfected. Also, as we said out in the fellowship hall, everything in here, two things. Number one, everything will be cleaned. Number two, everything will be disinfected. Two steps there. We're wanting to be as safe as we possibly as we possibly can. Also, a few other things that we would like to share with you. Some may think that what is happening is we're being too cautious. Some may say we're not being cautious enough. And to be honest with you, no matter how many times we look at things and go over things, the local board of administration being a part of that, we can think of new things every time. So we understand that when we first open on Sunday, we know that we will probably have to make changes before the next Sunday. So what we're asking is that you please be patient with us. Please be patient with us. If you have suggestions, we would love to hear them. And so we ask that you please take notice of that. We also want you to know that our two main goals, worship together back in church and for all of us to be safe. We do not want anyone to get sick. And what we need you to also understand is that if you are unsure of coming back, all of our stuff is going to still be on Facebook and on YouTube, just like it has been. And so we want to let everybody also know about that. 
Now, I know that I've probably covered some things a couple times, but we want to make sure that everybody understands what's going to happen. Now, one last thing, one last thing. I want you to know I look forward to seeing you. If not this Sunday, a Sunday before long. It's going to be good to be back in God's house and to be together. Just want you to understand what it's going to look like. And my prayer is that Sunday is a wonderful day. Love each of you.